What's up, it's the Muay Thai guys. If you train in Thailand and make these mistakes, you're gonna die. Maybe not die, but you'll have a bad time. What's up, Sean Fagan from MuayThaiGuy.com along with my buddy Paul Banashek from MuayThaiTechnician.com. And one of the common questions we get is about training Muay Thai in Thailand. And so we figure we go over some of the key mistakes that we see people make that we've probably made in the past as well. So this way you can avoid having a bad time while you're in Thailand. Mistake number one is not preparing ahead of time. A lot of people often will just buy the plane ticket, show up to Thailand, which is a good strategy. You should do that. But a lot of times you'll jump right into training and you'll feel exhausted. You won't be physically prepared. So having some type of training routine and regimen back at home is going to be super important. Yeah, especially if you come here, you want to get the most out of your time. So if you come here and you spend most of the time working on your body and your conditioning, then you're not learning as much. And you obviously want to come to Thailand to learn from the trainers. Number two is hydrating. Like a motherfucker. Like a motherfucker. Real. <laughs> At least two liters of water with you. I would say even a gallon or more every training session and bring those electrolytes. They are key. Helps you from uh, catching cramps during training. Especially when you get home and you're trying to take a nap, but you can't because your leg just starts cramping up. Yeah, the Royal D is what it's all about, man. You need that Royal D in order to survive here in Thailand. So make sure you get some electrolytes. You're drinking more water than you expect. And yeah, because you're going to be sweating out gallons a day. And so you need to replenish and rehydrate and just make sure you're always drinking water. Tip number three is use some Thai oil. Now there's two main ones I recommend. It's Namamoy oil, the ones that are made here in Thailand. You'll smell them and it'll just kind of trigger you for Muay Thai, you'll be ready to go. And also Athlon Rub is a really great uh, product as well that you can check out and it's more accessible in the States in case you don't want to get anything shipped from uh, all the way from Thailand. But this oil is a great way to warm up, loosen up the body, and before fights, that's how you warm up. They just rub you down, you shadow box, and you're good to go. Just don't put it on right before you go to the bathroom. Pro tip. Number four is really taking your time to cool down and stretch. I've made this mistake for probably years now, uh, until the past two years where I really took my mobility and my recovery work really seriously, and it really helps going from session to session. It makes a world of a difference to be able to come in the next day and not to feel that tightness in every single one of your joints and the muscles, and then just not having the greatest session uh, on the follow-up days after those hard, hard training days. It's really easy as a young athlete to neglect this aspect because you're young, your body's all good and everything, but once you start to get a little bit older and a little bit more worn down from the excess of training and fighting, then you have to make sure you're doing some mobility, doing some yoga. We got some good yo uh, yoga videos here on the YouTube channel, so make sure you check them out. But implementing the recovery strategies and making sure that you're stretching is going to be super key. Tip number five is ease into your training. A lot of people, I get it, you're excited, you're in Thailand, the mecca of Muay Thai, I wanna go six days a week, twice a day, full, going all red, you know? But it's a really easy way to burn out or get injured. So, easing into it, maybe you can train twice a day, but making sure that you're doing it in a like technical, flowy way, listening to your body, because it's gonna take a minute to adjust to the heat and everything as well. It's my favorite during our camps where people come for the first time in Thailand and we've been here for a number of years now and then just seeing how hard they go sometimes. One student even actually turned to me and said like, come on man, let's keep it going. Come on, let's go, let's go. On the back doing his five rounds and then on Saturday, dead. <laughs> I just looked around the corner like, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Number six is making sure that you have a goal so that way, you don't take advantage of too many of the distractions that are sure going to come your way. It's really important to have some type of goal because Thailand's beautiful. You definitely want to explore the culture and see a little bit more of what Thailand has to offer besides the Muay Thai training. But it can be really easy, especially if you're in places like Phuket or Bangkok or Pattaya, that uh, you can kind of get lost in the night scene and then never see the light of day and never see the, the gym ever again. Yeah, you can turn to the dark side. <laughs> we have young, our young Jedi. Groups. Yes, uh, slow young your roll. Jedi, please. Tip number seven is do your research beforehand. Don't let the research stop you from coming. And a lot of people will almost over research and then have all these reasons of why they can't come. But that being said, it is really important to understand what you're looking for out of the gym, the different areas in Thailand, what your budget is, and all that kind of stuff. 
I actually made a video breaking this down a little bit more depth. Also gave some of my top gym recommendations, so you can check that out. Yeah, I've been a fan of going to a certain area, checking out all the different gyms, maybe one session each, or just getting a feel for it for the day, and then picking the place that I want to stay at. Number eight, this one might be hard to do if you're a professional fighter, but it is changing up your routine. Now this could be related to training or outsider training. When you're training, obviously, in Thailand, it's pretty much the same thing all day, every day. But mixing in some strength and conditioning, doing some yoga, maybe taking some other types of classes, or maybe even doing some private lessons is a great way to change up the routine. Or if you're feeling burnt out and just stressed out, go explore, see the country. I mean, we live in paradise here on Koh Phangan, and people go for hikes, uh, check out waterfalls, see the beaches. If you're in Bangkok, you can go to fight nights, go nights out, and just change things up so this way the monotony of the day-to-day -day doesn't wear you down. Yeah, honestly, my first two trips to Thailand, all I saw was the walls of my apartment and then being inside the gym. So now that I've been here for a while, it actually helps you recover between sessions or resets the mind before you go into your next session. Unless you kind of think about things, digest them before you go in for your next session so you can actually have a better one. All right, tip number nine is stay clean. Good hygiene is like so key here. And like, especially in a tropical climate, and especially with open air gyms and so many people training at the gyms, it's really easy sometimes to catch uh, staph infection or other diseases if you're not constantly cleaning uh, yourself or using disinfectant spray on your gear. Stay clean. Boom. And the final tip, maybe the most important one when you come here, number 10, it is to spar light and technical, especially when you first start and you're starting to feel out your partners. You are going to have a really bad time if you start to try to headhunt for your opponents, and especially when they're ties. Yeah, and it's a really good way to kind of become the black sheep of the gym if you're the guy who's trying to take people's heads off. And the tie trainers will let you know, maybe not verbally, but they'll spar you and they'll fuck you up. And so make sure that you're working on your technique, you're working on light friendly sparring and it'll take you a lot farther than if you're trying to go balls to the wall every single time. So if you think about coming to Thailand but you're a little worried about what gym to train at and everything, we have our own retreats and training camps that we host for two or four week periods and you can check them out. Right now, we have some in Koh Phangan, our home here in Thailand currently, but we also have some in Chiang Mai as well. Yeah, we started to expand up north to Chiang Mai during the Loi Thong, the Lantern Festival. It is a beautiful time of the year. There's very little rain, and you really get to experience the culture up there. So make sure you check out www.thailandtrainingcamp.com and let us know what you thought about the video. Are there any tips that you feel like we missed? And are there any tips that you were like, oh, wow, I never even thought about that. So drop a comment below, give us a like, and we'll see you in the next video.